Hello everybody and welcome to another awesome Heyday video. My name is Jennifer and here on YouTube I go by Gizmo Spike. So in today's video I would like to talk about baby farms. This will be a two-part series all about baby farms and in this first video I will explain what a baby farm is and what a baby farm's basic functionality is used for. In part two, I will go much more in depth about how baby farms can be used and I will actually tell you all how I use my baby farms. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that red button right there on the video so you don't miss part two of the series. The first thing that I'd like to address is that yes, you are absolutely allowed to have more than one farm. As far as I'm aware, there is no limit on the amount of farms that you can have as long as you are not using any of those farms to break terms of service and are following Supercell's safe and fair play policy. And I will link both of those in the description of the video. All right, so the first question I am always asked when talking about baby farms is what is a baby farm? A baby farm is any farm that is not your main farm. Baby farms are a lower level than your main farm, but not necessarily a low level. My main farm is currently level 244, and I have baby farms ranging from level 30 to level 106. So my farm that is level 106 is still considered a baby farm because it is not my main farm, even though it is a high level. The next question that I am always asked is why start another farm when you already have a farm? There are many reasons to start a baby farm. The main reason is a baby farm is used to support your main farm. Most people start a baby farm because they never seem to have enough dairy or sugar products. So they start a new farm so they can get access to another sugar mill and dairy, and then they sell those items to their main farm. The second reason to start a baby farm, and for some, this is actually the main reason, is for more storage. Having lots of storage space, whether in the barn or silo, is key to this game. The more storage space we have, the more items we can hold for general gameplay, events, or for trading. And as we all know, it can be very hard to upgrade our barns and silos. And the bigger our barns and silo, the more expansion materials it takes to upgrade. So instead of trying to find 30, 40, 100 plus expansion materials to upgrade our main farms, it is a lot easier and faster to upgrade the barn or silo of a baby farm. With just over 100 expansion materials, you can get yourself 250 barn space on a new baby farm. To put that in perspective, in order to get 250 barn space on my main farm, it would take me over 3,000 expansion materials. I could take those same expansion materials and upgrade a brand new baby farm to a barn capacity of 1,300. So on a baby farm, I am getting a lot better ratio of expansion materials to storage space. Another great reason for a baby farm is access to more fields for planting crops. You can usually easily find wheat, corn, pumpkins, indigo, etc., in the daily dirt if you run out on your main farm. But it's really nice to have a baby farm where you can plant the harder to find but super important crops like sugarcane or tomatoes. There are also some people that like starting new baby farms because they like the challenge of starting over again from the beginning. I actually started my first baby farm, my now level 106 named Teenager Farm, for this very reason. I was kind of curious how fast I could level up a brand new farm and it took me about a year to get to level 100. There really is no wrong way to use a baby farm, whether it is to help you make more cheese, sugar, bread, or just have a few hundred more barn spaces. Baby farms are a very valuable addition to your farming experience. Don't forget that if you do make a new farm, that you connect it to Supercell ID right away so that it can't be lost and you can play all your farms on one device. And if you need any help connecting your main farm or new farms to Supercell ID, you can check out my Supercell ID video linked in the description below. I hope that this video helped to explain what a baby farm is and that maybe it will inspire you to make your first baby farm. I would love to know in the comments below how many of you have baby farms and if you use your farm for any other reasons than what I talked about in this video. I hope you'll stay tuned for next week when I release part two and show you all an in-depth, behind-the-scenes look at how I use my baby farms. Thanks so much for watching. Happy farming. Weeding is life. Peace. It's hey day. It's hey day. It's hey.